Hey guys, what's up? As I got a few requests, we need to make a professional project. So before starting a professional project, so whoever just learned the Go language or whoever the first time he's making the REST service, let's understand how to make a routing and, and how to handle the routing handler. In the last project, I made a very simple routing one and this one is this one through the HTTP package. But in this project, we'll use the Jin package. There is a lot of famous routing package like Jin, Gorilla Mux, even at HTTP also fine. We have one Qi also and so many other also. All are the good. They have their own benefit. Also. We can use any one of them. So in this project, we'll use the Jin. In the future, we will make it through the Max. Now let's start the coding part. Hey, this is the Jin official GitHub page. From here, we will just copy this command and we can simply install it. But before install, we required module also. So we'll see route and that is our module. Now we'll install package over here after the installation is done. Okay, so Jin package is installed. And one more thing in last program, we go through the air package. So it will help us to live reloading. So we'll use this one also. This is a package guys and we don't need to install. If you install one time in your system, we, we don't need to reinstall it. We can just simply write here initializations and we got this and we got this configuration now we can just simply say here and hit enter our project is live now we need to make a server over here we'll use gin and this is the gin import package and here we'll use the default okay and this default function will return the engine instance there we can attach middleware routing even we can run the server also so we'll receive the variables this engine we'll write down first method get and this is the hello for example i'm just returning a simple hello and this is the route handling and here we'll write down hello handler this hello handler i'm using the below functions hello handler inside in it we'll write down very simple string only and this is string Right. I'm using net HTTP so that I will get the HTTP status. So we have the so many status and we will get it all the status from the HTTPS. Yes. Okay, and we are returning only string over here. So this is our routing one. But we does not have any server. First, we need to make a server also. Then guys, to make a server, it's very easy. We can just simply write down run and on which port we wanted to write down, we can just simply write down the port. That's it. So this is done. Now we can just simply allow our gin package and our routing is done now once we hit it on the browser 8080 port local host colon 8080 now we can see hello world is came and this hello world is come from here so now what we did we created a server we server from where we get from the gin engine and we created one routing also and routing is what is returning it routing is right now returning a string only now let's return some JSON also. So we'll write down r dot get. Suppose I wanted to return a user data. Get user handler. And this function will write down below functions get user handler. Inside it we'll get the user data. So and every handler function we will receive this parameter also. Means gene context. From the context we can do so many things. Here we'll create a user variable. In the gene we will get it special variable that is called at and that is predefined map that gene package has so we don't need to make it separately map we can do it over here uh, we are writing our name and age to things and this finally will return it so through the context we will get it all the methods so i'm returning json here we'll say http status is okay and returning user over here okay so i don't need to be read on the server i can just simply go on a browser and just simply type it user so i got a user over here right so this is returning a json so i can just simply say handler that return a json so here i can just simply say handler that return a string and handler return a json right next thing is what else we can return it we can return the json of array also means we can say array of map also to make this one i'm making a new handler and, and guys right now everything is get function only later on we will make different http verb also here we'll write down items and get item handler so this is the functions and this functions we'll write down over here functions handler in the parameter 
we should get this context okay so now we need to define it so we can define the same way items equal to gin we can use it we don't need to make a separately map okay here only we can do and inside in it we can make all the object of array and this is array so we should be write down like a way and here we'll write down all the object of array right so finally we need to return it and we will return in the same way right and here we'll get the items and what is that routing part is items so we'll go on a browser and we'll write down items and hit it we should we get array of the this right array of the objects and this area of the object is coming from here only right what else we should return it okay one more thing can we return a response of file also so let's make it r dot get is the functions and we wanted to be write down download a file so download file and this function will define it over here functions get download and this parameter is this one okay to download a file first we will make a file over here so i'm just simply saying test.txt and here i'm writing down this is test file simple and here we can write down c dot file and here we can give the file path so what is the file path we have test dot txt that's it and now we'll go in a browser and we can see we have download also and these are the handler right so we need to be just write down download all. and we'll go in a browser we'll just write down download double slash here we should remove and we hit enter so this text is coming from this text file how to make a downloadable file to make a downloadable file guys we need to be set some header right for specially for content so to make a downloadable file we will make a one more routing and for example i'm just writing down over here and in this time we'll pass the one extra parameter that is called file name and downloadable i'm just changing the routing name downloadable file handler so here we'll go functions downloadable file handler and inside in it will write down the logic so logic is and you can see if you need a parameter to get any url parameter then we can simply get the parameter from the c dot parameter so this context is helping us to so much and gin packages make the developer life is very easy so this file we need to make a downloadable file so to make a downloadable file for example guys the files all the files we have into files and inside in it we'll make a file for example I'm um, just making sample.txt file. This is sample file, and we'll go there. Here we'll write down paste directory. I'm just making variables so that I can use directly over there. So this is the dot files, okay. and below this one, I'm just making file path. To make a file path, it's very simple. We'll use colon file path this is the one of the package okay and file path dot join we'll use it we'll write down base directory whatever we have and we'll write down the file name so this is our base directory and this is our file name that we will get it as a parameter parameter in the sense of the routing parameter from here right once we get the file path and guys we can check file also if the file exists or not so how to check just simply write down this one so in os stats if file path is there then we should get it if file path is not exist then we should get an error over here so here we'll write down simple message in string format http status not found file is not found okay and simply we can return it also further i don't want it to run any code of it now if it does not have any error we will write down header part content decompositions attachment i wanted to just send it and this is my file name whatever the file name we have we will just send it as a this one and finally we'll pass this file path over here right so now we have routing is download slash file name so what is our file name sample is our file name so we could be have more file and here we should write down our file name is sample.txt when we hit enter we got a file right and this is our file name right this is our file content and we got a file so like a way we can make it downloadable file also right what else can possible we can return it okay so one more thing we can handle the 
query string also and this is guys route parameter we can get the query parameter also so to how to get a query parameter so i'll just simply say query parameter so simple we have we'll say r dot get is a method and we'll just simply say suppose query is the final functions and we'll make a handle separately handler is the method name right and this function i'll make it below functions query parameter handler inside in it we'll write down the logic and logic is very simple suppose i need to get a parameter of the name c dot we'll write down definitely we require context also so i need context i can write down c dot default query here we'll write down the name if we have some name we can write down so if name is won't come then i will say guest otherwise we'll get a name also so i just save it so this is the way we get default query or we can use either the query or default query query means we need to pass it the key or we need to pass the query string key or we can use the default query if this name won't come as a part of the query then it might call it will get the guest only so let's test it let's write down first and hit enter we got hello guest and if i write down name equal to like ajay is the name hit enter i got ajay i think from the get function we can make this much only but uh, we can submit a form also we can receive the complete form data and we can get the data from there also so that is also can possible okay so in that case if you are receiving the data from the form guys here we can use c dot post form so inside in it we'll get the all the data of the form if we're getting the submitting form data right so this is the way we can make it routing and routing handler in the gin package i hope you guys understand about the gin package and routing and handler also so from the next video we'll start a professional project there we will make a professional app and even we will make the front end also but front end we will make in react case okay but till the time you guys can do this practice of this one and thanks for watching the video see you in the next video till the time happy coding